Libra, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late May, moving into early June 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Libra Collective. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it go. My guides, talk to me. What do we got for these beautiful Libras here in late May, early June? It's Gemini season, one of your fellow air signs. What messages, energies, insights, all that good stuff. What do you got for us? And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on. Which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Libra. In late May, early June, please, guides and spirit team, talk to me. What do we got for my good friends here? What messages this week, please? Right, there we go. That card popped out rather quickly. Oh, very spiritual. Very, very spiritual. Very energetic. This reminds me of the Hierophant in one way or another. And this doesn't necessarily feel bad. There's a little bit of mystery involved with this as well. So there could be certain situations you're dealing with where there's a little bit of unknown, there's a little bit of mystery, but we'll go through it. Before we fully dive in, though, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the May subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk a little bit more about this card, because I always find it intriguing because it doesn't always show up often. Now, we see this individual, they are blindfolded, and in front of them are all these different emblems of spirituality, all the different symbolisms. And it's like this person is seeking and searching. So first and foremost, as I already mentioned, I do feel like this is a heavily spiritual type of energy. So for a lot of you, whether you're exploring spirituality yourself, maybe you're energetically sensitive in this time, which is totally fine. Um, to me, there is something about the unseen world that is tapped in here. Because notice that person is blindfolded. They're hoodwinked. So for a portion of you, yeah, maybe there is some mystery surrounding situations for you. Maybe there's something you don't quite see coming up as well when this card is here. All of this has to deal with the unseen world. So some of you might just be more energetically sensitive than normal. Okay, so keep that in mind. You might be feeling the energy of those around you a little heightened. But we're just going to leave them right there and get into tarot now i always say this first card doesn't make or break the reading it's just a little footnote let's get you three cards in the upright then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness shuffle it up one time for the lovely libras here let's see what we have in late may early june please and while we get this deck shuffled up and ready to go let's talk about last week's reading it was titled surprising return so a big thing i was picking up in last week's reading was sure it could have been a person for some of you it could have been a situation or just something that you were very familiar with dealing with coming back around cycling back and i saw something similar in the gemini reading so it might be an air sign thing i know it happened quite a bit like in early april and late march but it did show up for you again so don't be surprised in the coming days and weeks if there's various different things that are swinging back around Okay, which could be a good thing. It could be a rough thing. It all really depends on your story. But let's see what we have for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you. Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. Let's get it going. Three cards here for Libra. What do we got? What do we got for my good friends? What do we got for the Libras, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, stop go. A little bit of a stop-go or go-stop type of energy. It's a hot and cold type of vibe I'm picking up here already, which doesn't necessarily have to be a rough thing, but we are starting with a bang when it comes to this Knight of Wands. Then we have this Knight of Pentacles in the set in the center, which is kind of calming things down a little bit. So we're going to absolutely want to look at this a little bit further. Let's get one more out here, and we'll start piecing this together. What do we got for Libra? One more for my good friends. Thank you. Okay, Page of Cups, all people. So there's a lot of people here, my friends. Okay. And I saw something similar, I think, in the Leo reading, but yours has more, if that makes sense. So let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, I like that we have a nice mixture of elements because this could represent different situations, different aspects of the same thing. But we got fire. We have earth. We have water. I mean, it doesn't feel super volatile at the moment. Um, there's a soothing type of energy connected as well, but 
Also, this could be different people in the way they act. So let's go through and really start to build this out because it feels simple, but at the same time, I feel like there's nuance involved as well because all of these cards could be talkers. They could be communicators, lots of action and movement um, and a possible problem or situation in the center. Let's cross that bridge when we get there, though. Position number one, we have the Knight of Wands, very fast moving card, one of the top three or four in the whole entire deck. So when I see the Knight of Wands, you might be connected to a fire sign. To me, all knights, including this guy right here in the center, they're all about action, moving something forward, forward progress. So if this Knight of Wands isn't a fire sign that you're connected to, I think of explosive action, something moving forward really quick. The good thing about this type of wand energy is that it could be very much movement-based, motivated, filled with passion and burn, but at the same time, it could be very unpredictable. It could be something that could get explosive or a little out of hand sometimes. If we're talking about a person, the Knight of Wands could be someone that's a bit of a partier, someone that gets a lot of attention. We're not fully going to go that route on it, though. And generally, it, to me, the way I'm, I'm reading how the energy is flowing, and it's like, start with a bang and then boom, a slowdown a very, very quick slowdown. So there's like this hot cold, start, stop, go, go, no, no. It's like giving me that weird type of energy. And it's moving in all sorts of different ways, but keep in the back of your mind that this could be a messenger as well. Moving to the center, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the complete opposite to what we have going on here with the Knight of Wands. So we have some earth energy and the Knight of Pentacles, it could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. If that is not the case, this is the slowest moving night in the whole entire deck. Very detailed, very meticulous. Slow and steady wins the race with this one. Whereas like this night's like, go, 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 go. This one's like slow, 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 slow. So you see what I mean? It's like we have the yin yang of energy happening here. So there could be certain situations that started fast and then there's delays. Um, there could be a situation or a delay happening in the center. I don't always go negative with the Knight of Pentacles though. Again, it could be a messenger, but at the same time, it could be slowed down for a reason. If you're going through an issue or a problem or a situation, this could be spirit calming things down, letting things settle in. So I do like that we have this Knight of Pentacles in the center right next to this because it's like, all right, hold your horses, slow it down. We'll want to see what's up with this. Uh, for a portion of you, hopefully this isn't somebody you find a little frustrating or a situation you find a little frustrating. We'll, uh, we'll see when we clarify it, that's for sure. Now, getting to the back end, we have our good pal here, the Page of Pentacles, right? Now, I always say all pages are students, all pages are messengers. So whether this is new opportunities coming up for you, a new venture, new individual, you name it, could just be a water sign. I don't like to lean too much on the Zodiacs when we have most of the damn Zodiac out here anyway. But this Page of Cups, out of all the pages, is very emotionally expressive, more so than the others. Even though they're all messengers, they're all talkers, they're all communicators, this one expressed their emotions much more freely. Okay, so whether we're looking at a message or a conversation coming your way, that's a big possibility with this page. Now, another thing I will say with the Page of Cups, in its roughest sense, sometimes it could be someone that's a little a little bashful or somebody that's trying to repress a feeling of some sort. So I feel like we have a lot to explore, even though we have a lot of possibilities and lots of people. So you might be more popular than you normally are this coming week. We were like, we're all these people. There's a lot of people involved. I want to dive deeper on all of it though. Let's jump in and clarify. Okay. Let's get a good shuffle here. See what we got for the lovely Libras. And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that Knight of Wands, see what's happening. What's this action about? And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Libra, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right. Let's see what this fast start is about. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is that Knight of Wands? Thank you. More people. All people so far. Wow. Okay. So if I was a beginner in tarot, I would find this very confusing. But actually, I'm not confused whatsoever because the energy is just radiating off of each individual we have here. Now, I do want to mention that now we do have the whole entire Zodiac showing up here. Now, this could be representing you with that Page of Swords. Pages, 
similar to that one. There's a lot of talking here. There's a lot of chit chat. There's a lot of chatter happening in this week's reading. Okay, so whether that's something you're wanting or whether that's something that's coming towards you, get ready for it. The Page of Swords, if we're not representing you, there could be something that you are yearning for here. With this Knight of Wands and this Page of Swords, it's like, I got my eyes on it. I got my eyes on it. I just need to make a move. That's like the vibe I'm getting here. There could be something within your sights where it's like, I'm waiting for the right time, and then I'm going to pounce on this. That's If that's not you, it's somebody else. But a big thing with the Page of Swords is it is the Watcher. I would say watch out for communication in this time as well, because this could be like a very fiery form of communication here in the center with the fire air mixture. But to me, it feels like someone has their sights set. OK, aside from like all these different people that could be coming towards you, keep that in mind. Like you might just be a people magnet in the coming days and weeks, like more so than usual. I feel like there is somebody that has their sights set on something and they want to make a move. OK, so let's keep moving forward. Let's see what that Knight of Pentacles has to say. And just so many different people here. So what's up with this Knight? Thank you. Three of Swords. All right, so there is something that you probably need to let mellow out or mellow down a little bit when we have this Three of Swords. Now we're starting to see like a little undercurrent of energies because in the clarifiers so far, it's all swords, which is a lot of mental, but what are swords also? communication. I feel like the cornerstone of this week's reading is communication and talking for one reason or another, okay, or things revolving around it. Now, the Three of Swords, I always say, is on a spectrum. There could be something, there's like a little bit of self-soothing here. There could be something that you feel a little nervous about. You might be a little bit on edge. It doesn't always have to be anything super dramatic or out of this world, but when I see the Three of Swords under the Knight of Pentacles, it's kind of spirit saying like, all right, let this mellow down, let this mellow out. Like I'm kind of getting the vibe of someone like laying low for one reason or another. Three swords could also be heartbreak of some sort. Specifically, there could be an earth sign that you're connected to that's really, really going through it for one reason or another. But if that is not the case, I just feel like this energy is ready and willing to move forward much quicker than this one. Okay, so we have some very specific energies where this one's like, all right, well, I have my sights set. I know what I want to do. I know where I want to go, and I'm going to make it happen. This one in the center is like, I'm not quite ready yet. Like, it's giving me that type of vibe, and that's okay. So let's keep moving over to the Page of Cups. Let's see what's going on here. And remember, this could be all one person. It could be multiple damn people we're looking at here. It, it always gets a little choppy when we have so many court cards because they could be so many different people. But let's see what that Page of Cups has to say. I mean, for some of you, I said a similar thing in the Leo reading. You might just be very magnetic and you might just be pulling people in, okay? whether you're trying to or not. So let's see what that Page of Cups has to say. I mean, for a portion of you, like one second you feel ready to do something, then you're second guessing. That's like another thing I'm picking up here. It's like, no, no, I'm going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should wait. There's like a little flip floppy. Let's go in on that on that page, though. Let's see what's up with that. It's that page of cups here. Thank you. Okay. Permanent reverse. Yeah, this is going to be a talk that comes up out of nowhere. Okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense to me with what I've been feeling within the whole reading itself. It's like, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, I should. It's like giving me that. Now, the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy showing up here in a strong way, to me is something coming to light, right? Because the Hermit is a retracted, pulled back type of energy. There's a lot of mystery. There's a lot of darkness surrounding this Hermit. Yeah, there's good things too. It's very spiritual. It's very tapped in, uh, knowledgeable and wise. But it is also someone that's not talking or there's a veil of mystery involved. So when I see the hermit flip up in reverse here, if this isn't like a Virgo expressing uh, some something they're not quite happy about, to me, this is somebody either revealing themselves or an unexpected talk, like either someone popping in out of nowhere or a conversation that you weren't expecting to have. Okay, where someone's like, oh, all right, well, I guess we could talk about it. It's like giving me that type of vibe. Um, where it just comes in out of nowhere, either a surprising or unexpected talk, straight up. Which is odd, because, like, in recent months, I've been seeing a lot of things that are, like, side-blinding Libras. Like, there's a lot of, like, surprising energy and unexpected. It's been, like, coming in quite a bit. But this time, it's coming in the form of a message or a talk. It doesn't necessarily feel bad. 
Let's go through and do a quick recap because I feel like there's so many different energies swirling around you this week. Um, I mean, maybe for some of you, hermit mode might be the way to go, depending on what you're going through. But when we look at the overall play of how this energy looks, it's like very fired up, action oriented. Like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm ready. Let's do it. This one's like, I'm not ready yet. So there could be something you're second guessing or a situation you're second guessing or an action. That's a big energy I'm picking up. But here on the front end, we have the knight of wands with the page of swords in the upper you have someone who has something in their sights i already mentioned it like i'm going to make this happen this is what i'm going to do no ifs ands or buts moving to the second part we have the knight of pentacles with the three of swords someone who's just not quite ready right you might be dealing with an earth sign that's going through some difficult feelings in this time there's nothing wrong with taking your time with something as well like you're there's no rush here okay but there is this like second guessing type of energy happening moving to the back end we have the page of cups with the hermit in reverse. So whether this is somebody that expresses something that you never thought they would, or this is a conversation that comes out of the blue or a person that pops up out of the blue, it's showing up in a very strong way. That it's like, yeah, I should, I'm gonna, I'm not, but I, I do anyway. It's like giving me that kind of energy. So please take a screenshot of that. Look into that further if you'd like to, because there's a lot happening there, Libra. Let's see what's in the shadows for you. It's just a lot of people there. A lot of people. So let's shuffle it up one time. See what we got for the lovely Libras. And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards do not always have to be a challenge. They could be a good thing. So let's get you one. What is in the shadows for the Libra? Oh, and yes, if you made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love for all my channel members. I really do. Okay, let's get it going here. What have we got for Libra? Okay. Ah, surprise, surprise. Guess what it is? It's another court card, even showing up in the shadows for you, Libra. So, like, add another person to the whole pile that we have going on here. So, the King of Wands, fire sign. Once again, I'm sure that's pretty obvious to a lot of you. But kings in tarot are a little different flavor than what we have going on here because the kings represent the higher expression of the suit, right? Like right before you get to the major arcana, it goes like the page, the knight, the queen, the king in, in order of the deck. So when I see the kings, I think of control of their suit, like an overseer, authority figure. And when I see this show up in the shadows, there could be a feeling or something that you were just trying to keep under wraps, trying to keep under control, which is cool. I mean, I'd say that's a good thing. Kind of feels like peacemaker types of vibes, which Libras are usually known for, like trying to keep things balanced, keep things in check. So this feels good. So if you're not having any specific dealings with a fire sign, I do feel like some of you might be in damage control mode. Or I don't want to say damage control. To me, it just feels like more like keeping things going the way they should be. That's how it feels like, all right, we're going to keep this moving proper. We're not going to let it get out of control. So I feel like this is a good card to have here in the background. For some of you, watch out for issues with authority figures in this time, though, for sure. So Libra, that's what I have for you this week, my beautiful friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the May subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one personal reading with me, you could check out my digital calendar at mastermetaphysics.com. But for the May subscriber surprise, we're doing a winner's choice this month, my friends. Two lucky subscribers will get their choice of either the Everyday Witches Tarot, which is a wonderful deck. It's one of my favorites. Or you can choose a crystal pendant of your choice from my website. They're homemade. The energy is luscious. They're beautiful. So it's winner's choice there. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things as always, my friends. First, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments where in the world you are from. You don't have to give me your home address or anything like that. It could be your country, state, province, whatever it might be. You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you again soon.